Thank you for watching. This is a quick tutorial on how to use GoToWebinar. With GoToWebinar, we are able to register for live online webinars either through a link online or on a web page or from an email invitation. In this particular case, we are going to look at an email invitation. With this webinar, we must first register. And to register for the webinar, we will click on the register link. But before I show you that, I want you to make sure that you do read any preceding information because this webinar actually has a password associated with it. And in this case, the password is practice. It is all lowercase, so I must make sure I enter that in when it is time for that meeting. So once we click on the registration link, we will then be directed to a registration page. We will fill out our information, and as soon as we hit the register button, we will then be sent an email that allows us to join the meeting. So we will then register, we'll go back to our email, and it may take some time to get that confirmation email. But once we receive the confirmation email, it says, okay, this, time, this is your webinar time, and you have a link to join that webinar. So when we click on that link to join the webinar, and we want to click on this at the time uh, of the webinar, Notice that this webinar is in Central Standard Time, so if you are in a different time zone, make sure to look at your, uh, your invitation as well as your confirmation to see what time zone it displays it in. If you need a, a converter link, you can see that in your uh, webinar um, registration, you can say show the time in my time zone and you click on that and it will show you the time in your time zone. So once the time comes to join our webinar, we will click on this button. Once we click on that button, it will then take us to the joining webinar. It will download a software for your computer so that your computer can view the meeting software, or the meeting. And if it doesn't run automatically, there will, there will be a button that says Launch Software. If it does run automatically, what you'll see is um, after I click on this Launch Software. So I will left click on Launching. And once I do that, you can see that it will automatically run the uh, information. Now in this particular case, it is waiting for the organizer. So we will wait for that organizer to appear. And as we wait for the organizer, we can see that that we can join the webinar uh, audio by either dialing in using a telephone, this phone number right here, using this access code. As you can see, our um, our organizer is starting that webinar. And now it asks us for that webinar password. I'm typing in practice, just like our email had showed us in that first invitation. We'll press OK. And what it's doing is it's processing that, that password. Um, with our password, you notice that the webinar password is case sensitive. So make sure that you are using all lowercase. So when you are welcome to the webinar, you do see a screen on the left hand side that shows us the information that we need, either calling in to use our uh, voiceover, I'm sorry, calling in using our telephone, or we can use voice over IP using your microphone and speakers. Here's the information for the telephone, plus an access code and an audio pin. Now on the right hand side of our screen, we saw it very quickly at the beginning, but this is your control panel. Your control panel, your control panel will uh, show on the right hand side, and it is like a little toolbar that's docked. If you want to expand it or show that control panel, place your cursor over the uh, arrow pointing to the left and left click. In here, you can see that you've got different controls and these controls allow you to type in questions for the webinar and um, you know the person answering the questions will be able to type back. 
With the auto, audio mode, you can use your telephone or use your mic and speakers. Right now my mic and speakers is selected, but if I click use telephone, it gives me the information for the uh, dialing in to hear the audio of the presenter. Using your mic and speakers, if you do need to set that up, you have this audio setup button where you can left click on that. When you click on that link, it will allow you to change any uh, settings you have for the microphone as well as for the speakers. So if you do have a headset, um, you may see that in your um, in your drop downs. And once you are happy with that setting, you just press OK, and now you've got that setting. Now, during the whole webinar, you are muted, but you can be unmuted by the organizer. You can also raise your hand with this little button right here. And with the uh, hand with the arrow pointing up, that means that you are able to raise your hand. When you left click on it, it will show the organizer uh, that your hand is raised. To lower your hand, you will click on the same button and in here it will um, lower your hand so then the organizer can see that you don't have your hand raised. But if you do type a question in here your organizer can view that question and uh, respond to that question. You can also view the um, webinar in full screen mode if you left click on that and it will show your whole screen your presenter's screen. So in your screen it will show your presenter screen and again to contract or expand that control panel you can just left click on that arrow so that will contract it or show it now to leave the webinar what you can do is you can go to file exit and leave webinar once you click on that it asks you if you are sure you want to do that you can just press yes and now you are finished with the webinar